Hello and welcome to Shredder Zoo. Today we are looking at a bizarre amphibian that roamed North America during the Permian period from 360 million years ago until around 270 million years ago. This is the Diplocolis. It is from an extinct genus of amphibians called Lespondyli, of which the Diplocolis was one of the biggest at around one meter long. It was first discovered in 1878 in Texas and was given its name by Edward Drinker Cope in 1877. Its name means double claw because it has a very distinctive head that looks like a boomerang. Many specimens have been found in the red beds in Texas, including several complete skulls measuring up to 30 centimeters across. But some incomplete specimens hinted at being much bigger. Around 2009, one of the biggest complete skulls of Diplocolis was uncovered. Nicknamed Jeff, the skull measured over 16 inches across. Paleontologists have been debating the use for this strange boomerang-shaped skull ever since it was discovered. Some scientists believe that its head may have been used as a hydrofoil. This would have made it possible for it to skim on top of a body of water. If that's true, then the shape of its head could have also been used as a way for this animal to steer itself. This would have allowed it to traverse streams, rivers and lakes with ease. Another possibility is that the wide head made it very difficult for predators to swallow it. The skull of the Diplocolis would have been bigger than the mouths of many of the predators of the time. But remains of partially eaten skulls have been found, so we know that some creatures did eat it. But what animal could have preyed upon the Diplocolis? Teeth have been found alongside chewed Diplocolis remains, and these teeth belonged to the Dimetrodon. One controversial suggestion is that the tips of the boomerang skull may have been connected to the body by thin flaps of skin, and this may be shown in some trace fossils. A restoration of what this might look like is on display at the University of Michigan's Natural History Museum. Despite going extinct around 270 million years ago, every now and then a picture or a video surfaces that claims to have caught a live Diplocolis. The first of which appeared in 2004 and has been referred to as Diplocolis in a Dish. This turned out to be a model submitted to a magazine for a competition. In 2011, a series of videos was uploaded to YouTube supposedly showing a Diplocolis swimming in a river. The low quality video appears to show a rather lifeless Diplocolis being buffeted around by the current. No official explanation has been given, but it looks very much like a toy, with no lifelike movement being observed. Finally, this much more lifelike photo appeared online in 2015, showing what appears to be a Diplocolis resting in shallow water. But once again, this turned out to be another model made by the extremely talented Japanese model maker Goro Furuta. So until the next picture appears, we have to assume the last known specimen of the Diplocolis was seen around 270 million years ago during the Permian period. Well that's all for this week and as always, I hope you've enjoyed the video and you've learned something new. Please let me know if you did by hitting the like button and leaving a comment. Please subscribe for more videos like this one and I'll see you next time here at Shredder Zoo. Goodbye.